Hey there, Tim and Donna Avery here with Visual Test. Hey guys. So glad you guys have stopped yep, by yep. Uh, and just to share. We have some amazing things we want to share with you guys. Yeah. 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 So the goal is today to talk to you about Don't Jesus go away. Christ. Don't scroll. Don't go away. Don't go. You're going to want to know this. Because you want to stick around to the end. You may have been going through a serious time of some trauma or lost a job or even lost a parent. Yes. Um, and maybe some of you have three jobs and not sure how you're even going to pay the electric bill. We maybe did. you lost your vision of, of the future. That's, that's true. Maybe you lost your peace because something tragic has happened to you. Yeah. Well, we'll just tell you that the answer is definitely Jesus. And we want to make sure that you guys stick Always. around and know why that is. And yeah. so yeah. we're going to talk about salvation today. We are. Stay because, until the very end because there's something amazing. Yes. There. And when we put our trust and hope in him, all those things will bring us peace and, we'll, and restore the things that we've lost. And so... Yeah. Yeah. Stick around. Yeah, stick around. So we're going to hop right in and talk about salvation. Yes. So you may or may not have heard of this word, but salvation is for all. Yes. All those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And the, that's the, that is the biggest thing right there. Mm -hmm. Salvation is belief in Christ. Belief in Christ is what that's he it. has done for you. Okay. Um, you know, there's a time where there was a, there was a time in history where they had to, to, um, give sacrifices to the Lord to atone for their sins or yeah. to pay for their sins, the things that they've done wrong in their life. Yeah. And so when we break God's law, there was a, there was a propitiation. That's a word right there. A payment that was needed or necessary yeah. to, uh, to atone for their, their sin or to pay for their sin. And so when they did that, um, it was for the year that their, their sins were forgiven or at least the things that broke God's law, broke God's commandment. And, and let me just let me just share a little bit about that, because I think when you when you because I think I may I don't want to lose anybody on yeah. this because some people don't understand what that means. And well, so and, and I just want to interject here, because I think that if you're listening and you don't know Jesus and you don't even know why would I want about, salvation yeah. and then I hear about breaking God's law, I'm already kind of like, yeah. so so why why is this important? Well, I'll just say it like this. You know, God gave us a choice. OK, I'll, I'll break it down like that. God gave us a choice. Um, and to do good or to do evil, mm -hmm. okay, to That's follow true. to follow him, follow his ways that will bring peace, joy, prosperity, the things that we know that's going to bring life to us and and peace to others around us, okay. And so there's 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 a freedom of choice on that, and so and then there's the freedom of choice not to do those things, and so, um, so to follow God's ways. And and when we don't follow God's ways, um, it's it's, it's only going to, because God is, okay, I'll just say it like this. God is good. And anything that he All does and does, anything that he says is good. Yeah. And so, and he only wants good for his kids, the, his creation that he created. He created you, created me, created, he created everybody, created yeah. everything in the universe. Everything that your, our eyes can see, God has created. Yeah. And so, and so thinking about that is if God created all those things for good. And I, you know what? I want to say it like this because in relationships, you know, um, I, I can choose to love Donna, my wife, or I could choose not to love her. Think about it that way. Let's, let's go in that route because I think that that might make be a, be a little bit easier for us to understand. Like I can choose to love my wife and I can choose not to love my wife. And so that's, that's the same thing with God. We can choose to love him and follow his ways, or I can choose to not to, to follow his ways. I guess the same thing about loving your spouse. Or your kids or anything like that. I guess there are some spouses that don't have chose not to love their spouse yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. But I think it's really cool where you're going with this because I do know that God always loves us. Yeah. He always loves us. And so regardless, just like your kids, you know, um, if you do have kids, you may not have kids watching this. Um, you know, your, your kids can, you know, break their arm. You know, you're not going to hate them or, or, or disown them because they've broken their arm or whatever. Um, or, you know, if they wreck the car or whatever that is. Or um, if they maybe bullied another kid in, in school, you're not going to not love those kids. Yep. You know, you're going to help them make better choices. So that way, when they, when they get older, they can make better choices, decisions. That's going to help them be a better person, a better adult that contributes to, to society. Right. Yeah. But so if a parent, if a spouse chooses not to love his spouse. Yeah. He, I mean, what does that look like? You know, um, that is like, they just either abuse them, verbally abuse them, um, withhold, withhold, maybe cheat on them, um, betrayal, betrayal, you know, all those things. And yeah. so if we understand that retaliation, if we can, yeah, vengeance. If we, vengeance, like if we, if we can grasp that, then we can understand that God given us, has given us a list of things 
for us to live a better fulfilled life. Uh, and there's a, those are his commandments. You know, it's like I, I have a commandment to love my wife. And if I don't, obviously, she's not going to love me. So it's going to not you, make too good of a marriage. Yeah, it's not going to make too much. of It's not going to make a big, great marriage. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's and, and, and in essence, that's salv and that's and that's that's salvation. God has did something for us. Yeah. So that way we can live with him forever. That's good. And so. Um, so I know going back to the laws you were talking about, yeah. the propensiation, the appreciation, yeah, the, the 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 animals back in the olden days. And if you look in the New Testament, get a Bible. If you don't already yeah. have a Bible, grab one. I highly recommend you grab one. Grab one you understand. Yeah. You know, there's coaching Bibles, there's kids Bibles, there's youth Bibles, there's all kinds of Bibles. Grab one that you can understand. Tim loves the Passion Translation. Grab one, one that you can understand. Yeah. And, um, and really be able to go through and understand that in the Old Testament, what he's talking about is they did. They had to have, in order for you, if you were guilt and shame and fearful of paying your taxes and didn't know how you're going to pay your bills and you were just riddled with guilt of something you've done or maybe grief because you lost your son or your father, then, you know, a lot of times if sin or fear stepped in and stuff like that, you've got these, these things you could do for, for sin specifically where you would, um, you know, bring animals in to the priests and hope that those animals were pure enough and perfect enough that the priest would use their blood to atone them on the, the altar, go into the Holy of Holies at, and that blood atone as the sacrifice for your sin. But Jesus came and he has made that atonement with his own blood on the cross for all of our sins and how that refers to your current issue. I know I said like you might have three jobs and you're still not sure how you're going to pay the bills. How does salvation help? Oh, well, let me tell you, when I didn't understand how I was going to pay the bills as a single mom at the time, salvation helped me a lot because I had fear before and when i had jesus i had no fear even though i still didn't know how i was going to pay the bills so i knew saying, that i trusted him so you're saying salvation brings peace and hope and joy right because salvation once you is have a that door correct wow okay. salvation is a door to literally everything it says in the word to seek first the kingdom and all these things will be added unto you salvation is a door because jesus is the hope he is the light he is the truth. He is the way to every single answer. He is the answer. Every single every single problem you have, he is the answer to it. He is the solution for it. If you've lost a child and you're grieving deeply, mm -hmm. guess what? So has the Father. Our Heavenly Father has lost a child and he yeah. is grieving deeply, but he knows that his child went to the cross so that his children can now receive this salvation we're talking about today and now step in to eternal hope yep. and glory and righteousness through Jesus Christ. Just as we were talking about, matter of fact, it says in Acts 16, 31, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you and your family will be saved. Mm. Acts 16, 31. If you go to, um, if you go to Galatians, 3.13, it says, Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law because he has become a curse for me, for you. Say it with me. Say amen in the chat. Galatians 3.13, Christ has redeemed me. Put your name there, Donna. Paid for me. Yes. It's like redeeming a ticket. You yes. Know? Or a lot from of like the redeeming. curse of the law, having become a curse for, say your name good and and i and I, w I just want to follow up with this um you know he 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 has um he has plans and purposes for our lives according to daniel seven twenty five. so i want to give you those scriptures to go back and look at yourself with your bible and really be able to dive into the plans and purposes the salvation of jesus what he has for you and how through salvation you have hope and um, comfort, and I know that's something Tim's going to be touching on for all these things here. So, yeah, so, 
So God is God is our hope. God is our freedom. You know, uh, from those things like Donna was saying, salvation is a door. When you open up that door, like Donna was saying, like these things are now uh, available to you. And, and I shouldn't say available, but it becomes an understanding of of where your where your hope is, yeah. uh, especially if you lost a loved one. You know, he he is the comforter, and, and yeah. because. So once you walk through salvation, you understand now. So there's so the doorway to understanding of yes. who God is and how He has how, how how He has gifted you with these things. And now that you understand where your hope comes from, yeah. because He is redeemed. So if you lost a loved one, um, you know that there is there is there is there is heaven. Um, and if that person has known Jesus and put Jesus Christ in their heart, then you know that that loved one is there for you, yeah. waiting for you on the other side. Or if you have fear that you may die because you lost your loved one, you know if you put your hope True. in Jesus then you know that you're going to heaven, you know? And so, so there's, there's hope and there's peace in that. Yeah. And so if you've lost your job, you know, and, and you put, and you, and you walk through the door of salvation, um, putting your hope and trust in him. So good. Now you understand that God is your provider. He, yes. He's going to provide for you. Um, when you feel like you don't know where things are going to come from, because when you put your trust and faith in him, especially if he's told you to walk away from that job or if he's opening up the door for another job or maybe he's positioning you. Now you realize that God's pulled you from that job and now he's going to put you in another one. Yeah. He is going to provide for you. So not necessarily that you may have lost that job and it looks like that all hope is lost. But like him, he's saying, yeah. when you have received salvation through Jesus Christ, he's made you righteous now. Yes. And he has become your provider. Mm -hmm. The father is your provider. And now through him, you, you you may have lost your parent, a father, a mother. He is the father to the fatherless. Yep. Our heavenly father is there for you. So literally through salvation, mm -hmm. you not only have your soul saved, but you have all the doors open to yeah. the answer. Yeah. And so even, even, even tragedy, if you, if you lost your peace because of tragedy, it's tragedy. You know, something happened to you or you got into an accident or whatever. And, and yeah. now you are sleeping with um, anxiety or you're uh, you're wrestling with um, anxiousness or whatever that is. And uh, and, you, and you don't know how to you don't know how to deal with that. You yeah. know, putting your hope in Jesus, knowing that he can restore, he can take those bad memories. He can heal the inner parts of you. So that you don't have to struggle with that peace or that uh, or that uh, you have to yeah. struggle with anxiety, I should say. Uh, and so instead That's of turning, because sometimes what will happen is, is that we'll turn to drugs, we'll turn to alcohol, we'll turn so to true. lustful desires, or we'll, turn, we'll, we'll, we'll create a relationship that is not good for us, or stay in a relationship that is not good for us because it's just providing sex, a temporary relief, or drugs, a temporary relief, or numbing our pain with alcohol, whatever that is. And so yeah. turning our, giving our, our heart to the Lord um, to help to help us process that that inner to inner heal us like go to the place to where um, where God can take us when I say inner healing what I mean is is that God can restore uh, that tragedy you know he can yeah. he can help you see where he was he can he can help you realize that it could have been worse if 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 you see it the way that he saw it he he actually protected you for something worse to happen um, and and you survived that. Or, um, or whatever that, that is. Um, and so, so just putting your hope and trust in him, walking through that door of salvation, yeah. um, is what we're talking about. Yeah. It's going to, it's going to bring you peace. It's going to bring you hope. It's going to, yeah. it's going to bring you freedom. Uh, once you realize who God is and who yeah. Jesus is, is. So, yeah. And, and Jesus mm. said on the cross as he was dying for all of us, those that believe he was saying it's better. It's, it's better he had said to his mm. disciples before he went, it's better that I go because when I go, I'm going to send a helper. Yeah. So you also will have a helper who lives within you. The spirit of Jesus lives within you now because it says as he died on the cross, he gave up the ghost, mm. the Holy Ghost. He gave up his spirit so that his spirit is now alive in those who believe. So if you believe, if you receive this salvation, this free gift, it's not hard. It seems like there's so many other hoops mm. that you could jump through. They're not going to be fruitful. Trust us. We know. Read our books. They're on. They're on the banner here on our YouTube channel. And I'll just say this. You know, I was sexually abused as a kid. You know, and God walked me through inner healing. You know, I, I turned to drugs and alcohol. I turned to you know sleeping with other women and and all these things that we're talking about. You know, there there is no hope in that. There's no, no freedom in that. It it just takes you in a deeper, darker place right. that you don't want to go. And so God can pull you more from shame, those things. Yeah, guilt. there's more shame. There's more guilt. There's more guilt that comes along with that because now um, going down that road, I was a I was a menace to society in in in, in that sense. You know, because yeah. um, I was only looking out for myself, and so I thought I was, and I thought I was helping myself. 
by trying to numb the pain, trying right. to find relationships and people sure. that that wasn't really satisfying me. It wasn't bringing me hope. It wasn't bringing me anything. It was just bring. It was just pulling me down dark, deeper and darker into a hole that I I didn't want to be anymore. Mm. When I realized where I was Same. at, and so when you, once you realize that then God is God is our true hope. He's our true peace. He's our and, and we walk through the door of salvation, giving our heart and our mind over to him because he has, like I said in the very beginning, he has yeah. guidelines for us to be able to live a more fulfilled life, a yeah. more life filled with hope and peace and joy that, that restores us. And then then in turn, like we, we want to reach out to others because we see that we have hope, we have freedom. We want to be able to give others people yes. hope and freedom because when we, we put our hope and trust in him, we want to help others put our put their hope and trust in them as well. Yeah, because we've seen he's been our answer. Yeah, We've seen what it's like to not have him and we've yes. seen what it's like to have him and yeah. trust us. Every time it's been better that we have him. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. we're, we're wanting you guys to have the same free gift. <clears throat> so I love how you said that because yes, my testimony too is that I, um, I was a single mom and I actually had went through not one, but two divorces yeah. and I just kept finding, trying to find love in all the wrong places. So, you know, I started realizing that the very person that was chasing me down is the one I was running from. And mm. he was the very thing I needed. Yeah. So some of you are probably listening to this and thinking, I just need to stop running. Mm. This is your sign. You do. Uh, some of you have never heard of the name of Jesus. Mm. And I'm super excited for you because you're coming with childlike faith. And there's he some is of, your answer. And there's some of you who have negative connotations about Jesus or right? you've had church hurts or whatever. And you don't want to even hear this. And you may be, you're, you're thinking about pushing that button to, to go to the next video. Stick with us. Stick with us. I promise you, God yeah. loves you. And I'm going to apologize for anybody who's, yeah. who's hurt you in the church or said things to yeah. you that they shouldn't have said to you because it's not, it wasn't in the love of Jesus. Yeah. Because yeah. Jesus loves you. You're his son. You're his daughter. And he wants you in yeah. his kingdom. And he loves you. And he has great plans yeah. and purposes for you. It's what Jeremiah 29. 11 says yeah. he has a plan and purpose yeah. for you he created you in your mother's womb yeah. he knitted you together even if you feel like you were an accident or, or or came about on on some um some some way that you didn't feel like you're worthy or you're adopted or you're abandoned or whatever yeah. that is god He's loves you he has a purpose for you you are his child he loves you on this planet for a purpose and please don't not turn away yeah yeah so he's the father <clears throat> to the fatherless you're yeah. about to receive a good good father yes and you know and and here's the <clears throat> thing as you pray this prayer, you now become the church. Yes. Big C. You now become the church. You now become the bride of Christ. Mm. You are a joint heir in all of the mm. kingdom. You have now the righteousness of Christ. So, so many reasons why that, that father has known that it was so important to receive you back home. And so repeat this prayer with us. Yes. Um, I'm going to say it out loud so that you can pray it with us. And in, in those areas where um, you have comments, make sure that you put the comments or mm -hmm. questions to us and we will be happy yes. um, to help. But let's repeat this prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you now in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We confess that I am a sinner and I have sinned against you. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I repent for my sins and I choose to follow and obey and accept your son, Jesus Christ, as our Lord and Savior, as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins on the cross at Calvary. I believe that your son, Jesus Christ, was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, and died on the cross at Calvary for me and the sins of all the others. I believe that after three days, he was raised from the dead, that he ascended into heaven and is alive today. I ask you, Jesus Christ, to be my Lord and Savior of my life. I receive you now as my Lord and Savior with all my heart. I believe that Jesus Christ is my King and my God and the Lord of my life. I believe that Jesus Christ is alive in me, and I declare that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit right now. Right now, Holy Spirit, I receive your spirit mm. yes. to walk this out in me fully. In Jesus' name. So if you've just prayed that prayer, welcome to the kingdom of God. Yeah. It's that simple. It's just putting your heart and trust and faith in him. Even in, in even before 
Jesus Christ died on the sins. It was all about faith and trust in the Lord. And those who had faith and trust in the Lord, they God called it righteousness uh, yes. or, or, or gave it to them as righteousness yes. that they follow God and his ways and his precepts. And so, yeah. so just know that you put your faith and trust in God, follow him, make him your Lord and Savior like, like you just prayed and continue to walk in that. And we'll have continuing videos to show you how to do that. Yeah. So continue to hit subscribe, like this, like this video, yeah. share it with your friends uh, and can stay tuned to this channel because we're yeah. going to help you walk through salvation, what that means and just a, a life of Christianity. So yeah. yeah. And I just want to close with this in Isaiah 54, 17, um, our righteousness comes from you, Jesus. Yes. So you guys can rest assured that it was that simple, just like Tim said. We love you guys. Comment and let us know that you have received Jesus so we can celebrate with you today.